One of the things that you've probably noticed in watching these structural drawing videos is that I tend to move the cursor or uh, pencil around a lot before I actually make marks. And that's so that I can kind of get the feel for what I want to draw before the pencil actually hits the paper. Um, it's kind of a way of practicing without having to have the pressure of having it look correct. You kind of get the motion down. Um, and I'm drawing a little chalice-like goblet here. And it has several component forms. The first thing I notice about the structure is that the base of it is the same width as the bottom of the of the glass itself. So what I do is I make a short squat cylinder and then continue the sides up very high. The next thing to do is work on the stem of it and that's a very small cylinder between the base of the base of it and the bottom of the actual uh, container. The next major form is an upside down very shallow cone form um, that will make the actual rim of the glass itself. And this, uh, I notice, is just a little bit wider than the original uh, cylinder. So uh, I can take a stab at, at approximating the overall height of everything and just check the symmetry because I brought those original cylinder lines up high enough so that they go past the top of the form itself. The next thing that I can do is make a couple of very um, wide cones to finish out the stem. Now, the cones uh, aren't exactly perfectly straight. They kind of flare a little bit. So that's something that I can add in as I go. This is a fairly complicated chalice because it has those sort of flat sides on it. Uh, around the the glass itself. So what I can start to do is segment that um, and create the feel that this isn't a perfectly rounded object, that it has sides to it. And you'll notice that the sides should continue uh, down into the base as well. And as I go through, what I'm doing is checking my measurements against the axis that I've set out, adding more detail, and refining. So generally what you do when you work on a semi-complicated object like this is um, work from general to specific. Get the overall height first, get the major forms in, do the smaller forms, and then modify the forms to be accurate to what you actually see. And it's that last step of modifying the forms to be accurate that sets the sets this kind of drawing apart is that you can that you don't have to start incredibly accurate uh accurately but you finish that way and that makes that takes a lot of the pressure off because you don't have to begin with with uh extremely accurate forms but you can get there in the end and what i'm doing here is just kind of hinting at a little bit of the of where the value would go and kind of refining those forms as I go along, making sure that they feel rounded and comfortable and uh, symmetrical. As the drawing progresses, I'm constantly going back and reevaluating what I saw in the first place. So you'll notice that now I've gone around the rim a couple of times, and that gives the rim a little bit of detail. Then I can work back into the sides of the glass itself and work on the front edge of the rim so that I get something a little more accurate to what I actually have in front of me. Then I can kind of work my way down to the stem to the base and make sure that this thing actually feels like it's sitting on the ground. Um, I kind of noticed that I missed one side, one little side there, so I can add a little more detail to make things work a little bit better. And then adding in the little hint at the back sides finishes it out. 